Morning guys, just ignore the mess behind me, but today is a very exciting day. Well, it could go either way. So today is Friday and the new Ambush Up Tempos are meant to be dropping today. And on Instagram, the Ambush official website just keeps saying like dropping worldwide and they've listed all the stores that are going to have them here in Tokyo. So there's a few Ambush stores and there's actually a Ambush store here in Ginza. But I'm a little bit confused because I know a few days ago on the ambush website there was like an online raffle or a lottery system and obviously I didn't get an email saying I got a pair um, so I'm wondering whether they will drop them in store as well today my friend did tell me that if you go the day after the release anything that's left over will be put on the floor and then you can buy it then but Today is the release date and I thought since I'm in Ginza anyway, I might as well just go check it out and I just realized you guys are <laughs> on an angle. Today's plan is also to go eat more food. There's this tonkatsu place that I really want to try. Um, actually, there's heaps of places that I want to try but I just feel like I don't have enough time and a lot of these places are pretty popular so I feel like you're going to have to line up for quite a while to get into these places. I also might just check out the Tsukiji Outer Market. My holiday is just about eating all the foods. I got to the Tsukiji Outer Market around 11 o'clock and it was so busy. They open at 8 a.m. daily so it's probably better to get there earlier in the day if you want to avoid the crowd. This market is definitely a big tourist attraction and I also feel like the prices kind of reflect that if that makes any sense. However, it's still worth checking out because there are so many stalls there and just food everywhere that I didn't even know where to start. For some reason, I didn't think it was gonna be this busy. There's huge lines to all the stuff. Oh my god, I found Paolo's hot sauce. I actually came here wanting to buy that hot sauce. I might come back later. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether I want to line up for anything. I want to try a lot of things, but I'm also going to Osaka and Kyoto, which I intend to go to the markets there anyway. And maybe that is what's stopping me from lining up but anyway i'm still gonna find like little bits of things to try i ended up trying this 40 dollar a5 sirloin skewer and you can see just how fatty the meat is as it's being cooked so i actually bought a bottle of this i didn't even try it i just know it's gonna be good and it's meant to be pretty spicy and they actually have a little bottle on the table here which i'm gonna try with my beef <laughs> Oh my god, that's delicious. You can definitely feel the spice. There's Carolina Reapers in there. You can taste that flavor immediately. I think there's a little bit of yuzu as well. So it's on the spicy side, but you guys know that I love spicy. Very, very good. Are these not the most beautiful looking grapes you've ever seen? And they also have melon for 500 yen. So this is a chicken store and I can see in the little display that they have a bunch of like yakitori. I think I'm gonna try some of the spicy fried chicken and also the karage. Everything else looks pretty yummy and just like every other store here there is a line so I'm gonna line up to get my fried chicken. This is the spicy fried chicken and our karage on a stick. The chicken is very tender but the breading kind of tastes like it's from a fast food joint i don't know whether that's a good or a bad thing but it's yummy mm. so i've made my way to nihonbashi to try this tonkatsu place i think it's like a pretty popular food area just because there's so many lines for a few restaurants around here but i'm gonna try this one. Oh my god it's so sunny so the place opens at 11 i'm here at 11 30 and the line isn't too bad and while you're standing out here they come out and give you a menu and take your order so i think i ordered the right thing so there's a variety of different cuts that you can get and quality of meat that you can get so i got the most premium one in case i forgot to mention it the name of this place is called hajime hanare and they're known for their tonkatsu they serve three types of pork so there's a premium pork that's been aged for 10 days whey fed pork from hokkaido and also a kobe premium pork and 
like I said before, I think I got the Kobe cream and pop, but they all sound great. So it's been about a half an hour wait, which isn't too bad. So I don't think it'll be too long. There's about one, two, three, four, five people in front of me. So across me is this tempura restaurant and the line for it is crazy. So it's this and then it continues on here and then the rest of the line is all the way over there. I actually didn't know about this restaurant but I think I might have to try it at some point. It must be really really popular and yeah it's like a tempura place and now I'm very curious. I think I only waited around half an hour to get in and once you're in there your meal gets served up pretty quickly since they've already taken your order outside. So you get some pickles while you wait for what you ordered. They also give you different types of salt that you can use. I think that's like a plum salt and this one here is green, so I'm not really sure what that is. Oh, wasabi salt. Okay. Yeah. So this is the katsudon and we got the 220 gram one and this is how big it looks. This is a larger cut, so this is a 350 gram katsu set. So it comes with rice, miso soup and the cabbage. So that's the sauce that you can use for your tonkatsu and then that's the dressing for your cabbage. This is massive. I'm gonna try this on its own without any sauce. So tender. The crumb on the outside is so light as well. This is delicious. I am incredibly full, but that was one of the best tonkatsus I've had. So I highly recommend that place. The katsudon is really nice because there's a layer of egg underneath there and they put some sauce on the rice. So it's like a really nice comforting kind of meal but yeah everything was so great and did you guys see how huge my tonkatsu was i am so so full right now so i'm gonna go for a walk to walk it off i'm in ginza 6 which is this bougie mall where there are tons of different brands and ambush has its own store and i saw the up tempos and they're beautiful so i think i'm leaning towards the purple colorway i was too afraid to ask if i could take a video or photo so i didn't that's why i can't show you guys i went to ask and today is strictly just for lottery winners and they said if there's any leftover pairs then they might put some on the floor tomorrow which is my plan so I think they open at 10 30 tomorrow so I'm gonna come past and hopefully they have my size left it is the next day and I'm back here at Ginza 6 because I am going to attempt to buy this ambush up tempos so I don't know whether there's gonna be any pairs. It's 15 minutes before the opening time, so I don't know whether these people are lining up just to get into the shopping center or are they lining up to go to ambush? I'm not sure. So we'll find out. And hopefully they still have pairs. Everyone is like rushing to go to the ambush store. Ambush is on level three. And as you guys can see, everyone is here for these up tempos. So I joined the line and I was really nervous because I was afraid that my size was gonna sell out. But once you get into the store, the staff member will tell you what sizes are left. I got the shoes, I'm so happy. So they still had my size in black, I think. And then I really wanted the purple one and they had it in a men's six. So that is what I picked up. I'll show you guys a little bit better later. But yeah, there were quite a few people in line, but I feel like they were mostly resellers. They also allowed you to buy one of each colorway. So I could have gotten the black, but I was trying to be good. So I only got the purple, but I'm super, super happy. I'm back in Shibuya today and today is my sneaker shopping day which is really exciting so I'm gonna go check out a few different stores oh my god there is a huge line in front of human made so I think they have a new drop because it's Saturday today so I can see a lot of new pieces in store I came here a few days ago and there wasn't too much in the store so there's definitely more product and that's probably why there is a little bit of a line. I did see what was releasing today and there wasn't anything that I really, really wanted. So maybe I won't join the line. I don't know. 
Let's go look at some sneakers. The first stop is Mora, which is a skate store in Shibuya that carries brands like Mani, Magella, and Stone Island. Alongside with all your typical skate brands, they have a cafe upstairs. And the second floor is really cool because it's like a mini skate park. And if I'm not mistaken, they sometimes hold skate events there as well. Ash is a two minute walk from Mora, and it is a zero waste cafe and bar. Staying true to its concept of sustainability, Sustainability. The walls here are constructed from fiberboard made with surplus denim and they are paperless so you can access their menu by scanning a QR code and they don't use single-use products like takeaway paper cups. Their menu is really interesting because not only do they have your regular coffee like lattes and cold brew but they also offer a number of coffee cocktails which I wish I tried more of. I also had their tiramisu and it was really rich and delicious. They're open from noon to midnight so it's a great place to go to if you're craving a coffee or a cocktail any time of the day and the staff here are really friendly and welcoming and keep in mind that payment here is cashless. Next stop is the new Jordan store. This 9,200 square foot space is the largest World of Flight store to date. The store is super modern and beautiful and they have an extensive selection of men's, women's and kids footwear and apparel and they also do limited releases here so if you're in Tokyo and there's a Jordan drop this is where you need to be they also do customization here and you can customize some Jordan apparel and Jordan 1 lows my favorite part of the store is this lounge section because just look at it it is decorated with Jordan memorabilia and books and sneakers and it is just so so cool super sunny today but the next spot is Union and and then upstairs there's Worm which is another really popular sneaker store. Let's check out Union first. I don't think I can film in there. I'm always too afraid to ask. So if I can, I'll show you guys the store. If not, maybe I'll insert some photos, but I'm so excited to go in here. Union is a boutique that's originally from LA and apparently the vibes are meant to be pretty similar to the one in LA, which I've never been to. So I was really glad I was able to check out the Tokyo store and it was really nice. And above Union is Worm, which I'm sure you guys have heard of before. They have an amazing selection of sneakers and it felt like they had every single sneaker you could ever want and they had a lot of vintage sneakers as well. I've never seen so many vintage Jordans in one place before and it was just amazing to see what a crazy collection they have and they also have all the really rare sneakers that you only hear people talk about. They have them there and obviously I wasn't planning on buying them because it would have been way beyond the budget but I still highly recommend checking out Worm if you're into sneakers. Just a block away from Worm is Architecture and Sneakers and and it is located on the second floor above Softnet and this boutique is created by Softnet or Sofinetto which is a local streetwear brand. The store is small but cozy and it feels like you're in someone's living room that's filled with very nice things. It is time for a very late lunch. I wanted to come here earlier because one of the guys at the cafes recommended that we check out this udon spot. So we went for a walk, came back, it's now 3.30 and there is still a line. And as I was lining up, I saw that they were wearing the Curry Up collab t-shirt. So Curry Up is actually having a collab with this udon shop. So obviously, I have to line up to try it. Also, I realize I keep forgetting to tell you guys the name of places. So this place is called Men Chirashi. I'll make sure to list everything in the description bar below so you guys can check it out if you're ever here in Tokyo. Men Chirashi is an udon shop that makes their own fresh udon in-house. They also serve tempura to go with your udon and I just loved all the small little decor details that they had in this store. So I ended up getting the curry up collab and I didn't realize it's a cold udon. It is a kima curry from curry up and then it has the cold udon from this store but it looks really really yummy and also I don't know if you guys can see but I'm pretty sure there's like a curry up like a custom plate so when I'm done with the udon I'm gonna show you guys the plate. I'm so excited. Also, got some chicken tempura. Itadakimasu. Mm. It's the first time I'm having cold udon with curry, but the texture of the noodle is so good. It's so nice and chewy. 
super yummy. I'm done with my udon, but you can see it says curry up noodles and it has the little logo there. After lunch, I checked out a more gentleman and also Nepenthes. So if you're after needles, they do have the full range here. There is a sneaker event that's hosted by Sneaker Girl and they invited me to go check it out, which is perfect timing because I wouldn't have known that the event is happening. So the StockX drop-off store is right ahead. So let's go check it out. Sneaker Girl is a Japanese sneaker media for women and they collaborated with StockX to host this event at their drop-off store in Harajuku. They also partnered with a few local brands like Pakuchi Tokyo, which is a really cute accessory brand. They had so many cute little things and I ended up getting these hair clips. They also had a game where you guess the grill and if you manage to guess it right, you get to take the sneakers home with you. You could also get your sneakers cleaned at the event by a local sneaker cleaning brand called Kicks Wrap, which I also ended up getting some products from to try out. Kutsushitaya was also there, which is a sock brand, and you could get your socks embroidered, and mine says banana, which is super fun. After the event, I made my way to Minato City because I had a reservation at a cocktail bar called Gen Yamamoto. This bar offers an omakase cocktail tasting menu which is created from carefully selected seasonal farm fresh produce and fine liqueurs. The bartender Yamamoto-san hand presses all the fruits to extract the juice and then he mixes it with his choice of liquor. The drinks here were delicious but definitely on the lighter side so don't expect to get anything super boozy. Most of the drinks are a combination of one fruit and one type of liquor. The atmosphere in this bar is very calm and it only seats eight people so you have to make a reservation if you're thinking of coming here. They take bookings over the phone and you can only do it a week in advance. The overall experience was nice but I found it to be a little pricey. For dinner that night, I had tonkatsu again but this time it was at Butagumi in Ropongi. It was pretty late after the cocktail omakase and I wasn't familiar with the area and I somehow ended up here. I'm having tonkatsu again today. It comes with rice, some pickles as well as cabbage and at this place the rice and cabbage is refillable and it also comes with miso soup and as usual there are your condiments here. So there's tonkatsu sauce, there's salad dressing, salt and some mustard. I got a really tiny piece today. So this is a 110 grams. So you can get different cuts. So it comes in 110, 165 and 220. And because I'm not super hungry today, I only got the 110 grams, but this looks delicious. I don't know if you guys can see how crispy the batter looks on this tonkatsu. Itadakimasu. Very juicy, very tender, and the coating on the outside is super, super light. In the next video, I'll show you guys what I got up to in Nakano and all the yummy food I ate there. I also have a few more spots to recommend in Shibuya, so stay tuned. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.